You know this so littlest pet shot, right? You thought it was all sweet and innocent. Well, you thought wrong. Here's my story. It was Wednesday, the middle of the week. My friend came to my house after work and saw a tape in my doorstep. It said Littlest Pet Shop, lost footage written on it in Sharpie. I found out later that this footage was from one of the episodes of The Hug Incorporated that was going to be aired. It failed to be broadcasted due to horrific graphics. I laughed and told my friend it's fake and I never believed it. I wish I did. So we put it in my tape recorder, while I made some popcorn with some cheddar seasoning. When we were all settled, he pressed play. The intro started off simple until the actual show played, all the pets were in the grave instead of the day camp. They were sad. I didn't know why, but right past Russell was Zoe's grave. Me and my friend looked at each other in shock. This was a very strange episode. Blythe came by and put down some flowers. Then it cut to Blythe's mind, where there was a flashback of Zoe singing on the stand by the window in the left front side. She was singing a new song, but it wasn't named. Then someone broke into the shot and knocked out Mrs. Twombly before shooting Zoe and ran out. I had no idea why only after the shooting everyone screamed and ducked. Zoe had unexpectedly realistic blood, except it was more like black ink. I was horrified to death. An ambulance came and took Zoe to the vet's emergency room. Despite their efforts, they said she couldn't make it. Zoe's owners blamed Blythe for their pet's tragedy. The screen went to black. There was a blood curtailing screech in the background. The screen cut to a scene of all the pets, Mrs. Twombly, Blythe, and her father murdered. It was gruesome. They were bleeding, skinned, they had empty eye sockets and multiple stab wounds. The screen went black again, then the screen came back up with a shot of Zoe, with a splotchy, dark looking fur coat, blood in her mouth and chest with blue irritated pupils. She was so horrifying, I felt like throwing up. She said, in a weak voice. You're next. Then the episode ended. My friend was screaming and running out of my house. I just sat there, in shock. Then the screen cut to static which made me jump. After a minute, the static noise cut to crying and screaming. I tried to lower the volume. Nothing worked. I thought my ears were bleeding. The screen cut again to Zoe, looking at Pepper's lifeless corpse. Zoe was crying. She murmured to herself. I'm so so sorry. The screen cut again. But with Zoe staring at me, no sound or movements, I felt every hair in my body raise followed with a cold shiver, it was her same look, only this time, I tried running to my room, but I heard Zoe say, Where are you going? In a deep, demonic voice, I turned my head, she was coldly looking at me, I was so shaken, I took the remote in my hand and threw it at my TV. It broke. I breathed with relief that my TV turned off. At 9.35 I went to sleep, only to hear loud noises coming from my kitchen. I bolted out of bed and I turned in my light in the kitchen to find everything scattered. Pots, food, dishes, you name it. I was shocked about the mess. Then the thought of Zoe came to mind, but I decided to be naive and pass it off as a raccoon. So I cleaned everything up walked down my dark hallway, curled up in the covers and went back to sleep. I wake up from my sleep, 10.47 a.m., bang, I slept that long after going to bed at 9. I shrugged, I turned to my wall only to find blood writing on my wall, it was messily written with excessive blood saying, I'm so sorry, with a small palm mark stamped next to the large writing, I was horrified, I called the cops, the fire department, any detective I could find, they found no clues, no evidence, they thought I was pranking them, they gave me a good five minute lecture and left me in my home, with a warning, I felt sick to my stomach, is this really the end, is this how my death is planned out, I thought to myself, I couldn't move, for the rest of the day, everything was quiet, I just sat in my couch, I never went anywhere, I just sat there, like a brainwashed zombie. 
it was 10.57, that I got up and went to bed. I felt nauseous from my lack of food. I went under my bed sheets and got warm, just staring at the wall. Getting paranoia from every tiny noise I hear, that knocking came at my door. I lazily got out of bed like a child getting up for school. I opened it, I looked down and found a photo, with Zoe sitting next to one of her victims, it was my friend. He was there looking mangled, bloody, gauged out eyes and organs, but Zoe was actually there. It looked like it was taken with an HD camera, and the walls were written with the same excessive blood for the words and paw print, except the words were different and they read, you're next. I looked at my friend next to the devilish dog in sheer awe and disbelief. I heard giggling in my house, I screamed, I went to my kitchen, grabbed a lighter, went outside and looked the goddamn photo, after, when it was burnt to a crisp I put it out with mud and went back inside, but I found, yet another photo laying in my kitchen, but the picture was different and words were as well, so it was in her same eerie look. The image was took right outside my house, right on the picture there was poor written words that read, I'm coming, for you. Then I thought to myself, I know it. Hope luck for yourself, I sit here in my room writing this story as a warning to all of you, the tape is still loose, she's coming to other people's homes dropping off the tape, if you find it, chances are you're already listed next, watch it or not, she will kill you. I hope this message will be taken seriously. Goodbye.